UCLA football has a bright future. The transfer portal has brought in a lot of good players for UCLA. They've gotten six transfers and those players are good enough to rank UCLA as the fourth best transfer team in the country. They've also lost a few players in the transfer portal, but none of those guys were gonna be big impact players next year. And the guys that are coming in through the transfer portal are gonna have a much bigger impact on this program. So today I wanted to go over those six guys that UCLA is bringing in through the transfer portal just to give a brief overview of what we're getting into. And before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe to the UCLA LAFB YouTube channel. And now let's start with Anthony Atkins. Anthony Atkins is a big powerful six foot three 220 pound running back this guy was a two-star prospect coming out of high school in kentucky and in three years he had 136 rushes for 693 yards and 10 touchdowns with army and army's offense is extremely run heavy very physical and he fit right into that he was primarily a fullback in his time there and he's also faster than you probably think for a big running back like that. Maliki Matavau, a six foot six, 240 pound tight end from Oregon. He was a four star prospect coming out of high school in Nevada. He's an athletic tight end who can block, but is mostly known for his catching ability. He can run routes really well. He can high point the football in tough situations. And also he's got some yak ability with the ball in his hands. He has 19 catches. 209 yards for two touchdowns, and he also has one rushing touchdown as well in his two seasons at Oregon. Spencer Holstage is a six foot five, 275 pound left guard from Purdue. This guy is an absolute unit. He was a three star coming out of high school in Michigan, very heavy handed guard, and Purdue used him a lot in motion. They would pull him a lot from that left guard spot to the right side. And that's a good sign for Chip Kelly because his run concepts always have those guards getting pulled out in motion. He's going to fit right in with this UCLA run offense, especially with the mobile quarterback. You're either going to have Dante Moore or Justin Martin back there. There's going to be a lot of guards being pulled in this offense next season. He's He's also a two-year starter and an academic all Big Ten. Chip Kelly loves that too. Colin Schley, he's a six foot three, 210 pound quarterback from Kent State. This guy was a three-star prospect coming out of high school in Maryland. He's athletic, he can run the football, he's got really good field vision when he is running the football, and he's got a big arm. He struggles reading defenses at times though, and he was 181 completions. 303 attempts for 2,460 yards, 16 touchdowns and five interceptions at his time at Kent State. I still expect Dante Moore to take this starting job, but this would be a great option if there's ever an injury or if, if there's any time that another quarterback needs to get some playing time. Oluwafemi Oladejo is a six foot three, 255 pound linebacker from Cal. He was a three star coming out of high school in California. He's a really athletic linebacker, very sure tackler, good in run support as well. He's going to be an inside linebacker. I couldn't find a, uh, any footage of this guy at Cal, so I'm just using his high school tape. And uh, he had 91 tackles, four and a half tackles for loss, one sack, one forced fumble, and one interception last year at Cal. So he's getting one of every single stat. He's going to get every single stat on defense. Now, last but not least, Jake Heimlicker, six foot four, 245 pound linebacker from Penn. He was a two star coming out of high school in Colorado. He's a very fast edge player that wins with speed, but he can also convert that speed into power on the edge. He also has shown the ability to defend well against the run, and he looks to be an all around edge player in my eyes. He's probably a very smart player. He's got a high football IQ. He stays disciplined, and he is not going to miss a ton of tackles for you when he's got a guy in his sights that he should be taken down. So that's just a brief overview of the six guys that UCLA has brought in through the transfer portal this season. Let me know who you guys are most excited for. What do you think of all of these guys? And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to the UCLA LAFB YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next time.